Now let's talk about why it's recommended to remove the wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth frequently become impacted or stuck behind the second molars. And when this occurs, it becomes extremely difficult to keep the area clean and maintain proper oral hygiene. As a result, plaque builds up, which can cause inflammation. And this inflammation leads to infection, decay, or gum disease. Even if the wisdom tooth is erupted, in other words, uh, visible in the mouth, they can still harbor bacteria and are highly prone to gum disease, decay, and loss of bone. Wisdom teeth can also cause jaw cysts or shifting of adjacent teeth. Let's take a closer look at the problems associated with wisdom teeth. The most common problem that occurs is pain and swelling due to inflammation, also known as pericoronitis, which can lead to infection of the gum tissue. Gum disease, also known as periodontal disease, occurs between the second molars and the wisdom teeth as a result. The wisdom tooth and the second molar share the same bone and gum tissue, and when the tissue is damaged, repair or regeneration is extremely difficult. This greatly compromises the health of the second molars, which are very important teeth for chewing. Decay or caries can also occur on wisdom teeth or on the root surface of the second molars. This is sometimes near impossible to treat. If decay happens on the second molar, it often has to be extracted too, and that is a big loss. Wisdom teeth also can cause certain types of cysts that result in significant destruction of bone and damage to the adjacent teeth, bone, and other structures. They can become quite large and weaken the jawbone with potential fracture. Certain cysts can also become more aggressive and become malignant. The concept of wisdom teeth causing shifting of adjacent teeth is not entirely understood by many dentists. However, wisdom teeth are probably a contributing factor to this problem. Many dentists, as a result, recommend removing the wisdom teeth to prevent possible shifting.